Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne, this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Season 5, Episode 5 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And it's called Rewind. So we start off the um, episode with, um, basically it's like the Season 4 finale where everyone's at the diner getting food. And um, we, get a little, we dive a little bit deeper into it where Fitz still feels guilty about what he did. And then they get arrested and... Basically, what happens is um, the people disappear, then Fitz um, is still there, and he kind of freaks out, then he gets arrested, and he gets questioned, and he explains Ada to the army, and then um, they don't really believe him, or think he's full of crap, and try to put him in prison. And then um, they put him through a lie detector test, and he wants to help, so they agree to let him help, and... They have a time lapse where he's thinking of strategies, trying to go over stuff with the people, and writing in letters to soccer fans. And my dogs come into the room. <laughs> uh, and then um, he's working out and watching TV and just doing all this bunch of stuff. And then it's about six months later, and he tells them that he thinks they're rejected by aliens. And then um, the lady <laughs> gets really pissed at him. And then his attorney shows up, and that is Lance Hunter. So that it was really interesting for him to come back. I'm very excited for that. I was like, oh, what? And so then, um, basically, he this is one who's trying to contact him through the letters to the soccer fans to, to kind of piss him off and give him a trail of where he was. And it took him six months to figure it out. And then um, they fuss and then hug it out. They fuss over the soccer thing and then they hug it out because they're friends, obviously. And then he busts them out and then escape on an RV because they were going to do a helicopter but the guy named Rusty kind of got blown up as he entered the base. So they talk and then Fitz um, found the guy that um, basically um, adopted the team and then <laughs> Then he finds the guy through, um, basically Rusty was very paranoid, and so he kept a bunch of tech on his um, RV. So that's how he was able to find him, because he did schematics of the uh, beer truck, and it turns out they had transformed into other trucks, so, but the same schematics matched the same original truck, so he was able to trap the guy. So he tells them that um, they're in the future, and the guys from the future, he's basically like some type of alien from like 30,000 years into the future. And uh, he says that he can't help him unless we talk to the seer. So Fitz literally grabs a gun, points a gun towards his like, I demand to see the seer. So it turns out the seer is Robin, which is um, Charles's daughter from season four. And then the army shows up, um, goes to the guy's place. Uh, I think his name is Elok. I believe that's the right name. And so they show up at the guy's house, and then um, they try to track down the guy and find out it's connected to the girl. And then the army shows up to where they are, but then they show escape things to the device that Elok has. That, um, that, uh, <sighs> so they escape to the device that Eli has and it's ear that allows them to, well, for them to pause time. So they do escape and then they go to this underground lighthouse. And then Eli told them about uh, breaking the rules for extension level, um, events. And then, um, Fitz and Hunter talk. And then Fitz goes to talk to the mom and Robin. And Robin says that he has to save them. So, um, they have to go... So, in order to get the, um... So, Elot suggests using his pod. And basically, um... Says that the pod's back to where Fitz was. And so, they go back to get it. And they also managed to get... So, they managed to get to the place. And then they let Ferret's help and made a distraction again to the, uh, facility. And so they get the pod, and then they find the Zephyr, so they take the Zephyr and run for it. And then the army lady um, gets rid of her subordinates uh, permanently. 
And then Fit says goodbye to um, Hunter. And then um, fits into the pod, which is actually a choir, jam, uh, choir chamber that's set for 74 years in the future. And it'll be on the ship, which will be um, in the future. It'll be orbiting the planet in the future. So he'll be able to wake up and handle what, need, what he needs to do. And then, um, so he they say goodbye, and then Fitz wakes up in the future, and then Guy has a plan to set in motion. Basically, Guy handle all these thugs and criminals of all time, and he's like, "Do you have what it takes?" And Fitz is like, "I have what it takes." And that is the end of the episode. And now we're on a two week break, which is unfair, but um, I will give this episode an A plus. I really like the dynamic between everything that's happening. Um, with Fitz and Hunter coming back, that was super awesome. I uh, hope he's in more stuff. Um, that'll be super awesome. And um, get more of a backstory with the Elok guy and how he's an alien and all that type of stuff. And also, Robin's brought back with um, with her mother, which is you know part of Charles for season four. And I just like how they're bringing stuff back and putting it into season five. So I really do like that a lot. And I'm very excited for what's coming up. And I don't want to be on a two-week break. <laughs> so anyway, I thought this was a great episode. I thoroughly enjoyed it. All the scenes were, I thought, were really good. So if you guys wonder for this video, so if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below on what you think. Do you agree or disagree? And also, I'll be doing reviews from all the past four seasons as well. Since we're on a two-week break, I gotta do something. <laughs> so I'll be doing that as well, and that'll be coming out sparingly throughout the week, um, weeks, building up to season two. I mean, the two-week break. So anyway, I want y'all, and also comment on what you want me to react to next, whether it's a TV show, music, or movies. So let me know down below, down there. Just do it, and then subscribe, and I'll see y'all next video. And I want y'all have a super duper awesome day. Bye, everybody.